Hey everybody, I'm Randy Jones with Incredible Tiny Homes and in my hand here is a map of our mountain community out here. We've got approximately about 80, 85 lots in here. Mm -hmm. And we got a special for Father's Day weekend. We have two Birmingham homes. One will be done in about a week, one will be done in three weeks. We'll bring them back. They're in our Kentucky Amish uh, builders community. We'll be bringing them back in for this weekend. It's a Father's Day weekend. We have two lots in the mountain that we can put these things on for $135,000. That's a 10 by 34 Birmingham. If you've not seen our Birmingham, go on our website, go to former uh, videos that we've done and put on there Birmingham. And that will be your keyword. Gorgeous home, all on one floor. You guys will love it. We're going to take this video and we're going to take you and show you a Birmingham. And then we're going to take you to the mountain and I'll we'll show you the two lots that I've picked out and we will deliver it. We'll set it up and we'll have it ready for you to move in. All right. The, the, you're probably looking at the mountain and I'll talk more about when I get over there. You're probably looking at around October to move in. All right. So come on, let's take a ride. Where do you find a tiny home like this? Up on that roof right there are slate shingles, right? Now they're not real slate but they are a high-end shingle that replicates slate. I worked for a billionaire one time, and he put that all over his roof, a beautiful, beautiful mansion. And I looked at that and I thought, you know, one day I want to use that. And sure enough, when I created this Birmingham design, I wanted to include all these textures. Now on the very top, you got metal roofing. Then we got the slate look, right? Then you've got your dormer, your corbels, your faux rafters, your 30-inch overhang, you've got your um, horizontal siding in your dormer and in the vertical siding downstairs downstairs on the first level right we have two of these homes right here if you're interested there are two different colors that we have one is an all red with black trim and what's the other color Amanda um, it was, I think it was the gray. It was French, the gray. French gray French gray with the olive, olive. It was very to so that. as you mix those two together you know so Oh. And then there's the green. And this inside, come on inside. Let's go take a look. I'm going to show you what's in here. I designed this house after, after building over a thousand homes. And listen, there's not one floor plan for everybody, but trying to combine all this together to create this beautiful facade inside this house. Look at the indirect light that comes in from this cupola that we have. And that cupola goes into the bathroom, into the kitchen. It brings all this natural light in here. And of course, just where Amanda was standing, you got the bay window and three windows here. She so got three windows. They're 3040, they lift up. I can actually, I wish I had long hair. My hair would be fluttering with the wind. <laughs> your, hair, your dress is actually fluttering, yeah, it's fluttering. with the wind. Yeah. So you got this cross breeze, you got this you know, bay window that you can sit on. Everything in here is very nostalgic of the 1920s and 30s craftsman style home where carpenters really went out of their way to make homes look really cute and pretty and, and they were able to show off their skill. Now these homes are built in our Amish uh, partnerships that we have in Kentucky and you can see all the beautiful trim that has been put in this home. Everything is polyurethane, the walls are white, the ceiling is polyurethane, two mini splits, an air exchanger, farm style sink. You got your stovetop, range hood, microwave. Come on in, let me show you a little bit more. You got a beautiful kitchen that you can work in. You can get ample, look, you can walk around in this kitchen. This home is 10 by 34. It flows really well. This is for your refrigerator, and then you got a stackable washer and dryer, all in your kitchen. Then of course, right here's your bathroom. Your bathroom has a lot of room to walk around in. Look, so we can walk, it leaves a lot of room for growth if you want to put any kind of storage plants up there with the indirect light on top of the shelf that's above the, or like a little ceiling that's above the shower. And then we left this open because we didn't know if people were going to want to put a pull-out pantry or some kind of storage that would pull out or if you want just open shelves. There's still room, like I said before, there's room to, you know, add to this house. 36-inch shower. This is a household shower. Everything in here so far is almost like a, a real big home, right? So what I did is I took this design of a big home and just shrunk it. And I know the industry calls these tiny homes. 
And this is a tiny home. I like to say it's now it's a smaller home. Come on in here. This is a, back years ago, they used to have some really steep staircases that would go up to people's little lofts and nooks and crannies. And this is what this is. And the reason it's a little steep is because we only have about five feet to actually go up almost six feet, right? And these steps are still in, in, um, in code with the tiny home codes that they're you know, stipulated throughout the country. We usually like to go about eight inches. This is about 11 or 12, but it's because of the limited space this way. Now, all your living is on one floor. That is an overflow, bedroom, storage, study, and you have over about 43 to 43, 44 inches of headroom in this loft. This loft is actually 10 by 12, 120 more square feet just in the loft. And I have not included that in the description of this house. Down here is 340 square feet of just all on main, one main floor. When you come into the bedroom, as you can see, this bedroom is like 10 by 14. As you look in here, we got two windows on each side. It has four windows, another mini split, two sconce lights. This is beautiful. Now, depending on what size bed you want, you can have a king size bed, you can have a single bed. Think about if you just had a single or a double bed here, how much more room that you could put chest your drawers. You could put a stand up armoire. There's a many, there's many things you could actually put a bed if you wanted to here mm -hmm. and then have that area all as whatever you'd like to do. And, and like even a, you know, an armoire, I call it as to be a closet. Now there are space right here for a nice closet. And a we, door. And we got a real closing door, not a, not a barn door, it's a closing door, which is, I think, kind of more homey, if you will. It's more of a house, right? So anyway, there you have it. Take it. Oh, let me show you this. This is the water heater underneath here and some storage under the steps so you can store your belongings that maybe nobody wants to know about. <laughs> All right. So you got that. You could actually put your bed here, pull it out of the way if you ever need to get to that water heater. There you have it. All right, 135 on the mountain, and we're about to go there and show you what that lot looks like, where this house can sit, and it is a gorgeous lot. Remember, we got two of these on two lots in the coveted gated community mountain. All right, 135,000. This is a Father's Day special. Thank you. Come on, let's go. Let's go to the mountain and check it out. All right, come here, Ace. Hey, we are on the lot, one of the lots for the two Birminghams. We got another lot right up here. And we'll, if you're interested in the other lot, we just don't have the driveway cut in it. It goes up a little bit to the right from where we're at. Anyway, look at this beautiful oh, lot. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah, this is lot number one. Come on here, watch this. I love it because we've, and if you guys have learned anything about our videos, about our community, you can see how we leave a lot of the vegetation. Yes. We brought this lot up. The, tr the dirt is not up on this tree, so it's gonna live. This one here, it's up on a little bit. We're gonna put a planter around it for all this vegetation will stay. But when you come out here, this lot is unique in the fact that you still get wooded. And in Manda, as you can, yes, you get this beautiful view of this pasture, the distant mountains, and of course, there's a farm across the road there they raise tomatoes. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Everybody, this is 135. This is your lot forever. You just All you have to do is renew your lease every year and you're here. So you can get one of our coveted Birmingham homes for 135 on this lot set up with water power and sewer right here. And you can, this is Airbnb retirement home, res, re, your regular home. There you go. 10 by 34 Birmingham on this lot, gated community. Just trying to reiterate everything. Hope you love the house. All on living on one floor. Can't beat it. Let us know what you like. If you want it on here, we can, this, this lot and this community to be ready. We're thinking about September, October, right? Mm -hmm. And so we can have you in here. We want it before the leaves fall off the tree. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Give us a call. Go to sales at incredibletinyhomes.com. Give us a call, email. This is a Father's Day special. Thanks. Come on, buddy. Let's go.